Hey everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to use MuseScore. You should have already watched the uh, and downloaded MuseScore, the video on downloading MuseScore, and gotten this far. I know when you open it up, I think you can automatically set up a project, but if uh, you didn't set, set up a project, then the way you would do it once, you've, once you're here is to go to File and New, then put in the title Music terms project and put your name in as the composer and click continue then you want to select treble clef for this project it should be a treble clef and then you want it to select the key of C which automatically defaults to that if you want to play around with other keys I don't mind you playing around with that I want you to be creative but uh, for the uh, for the three weeks course, all of the, everything we're going to be doing is going to be in C. So click continue. And for this project, you should enter in the the, the default time signature should be four four. Uh, if you again, if you want to play around with different time signatures, I don't mind you doing that uh, as long as you fill the requirements for the project. But most of our mostly everything that we'll be doing over the next couple uh, couple of weeks is going to be um, in the 4-4 time to signature. But once you select that, click done and it'll bring up your project. And then in order to put in your notes and some of your requirements for the project that's in Canvas under the uh, MuseScore project musical terms and it's also in the week one module, you will make, you want to come over here Make sure that the note input is checked and it says step time, which it automatically should be defaulted, but you want to make sure this note input is checked. Then you can select the type of note that you want, then come into your project and start entering wherever you want. Just kind of play around with it be as creative as you want like I said I have requirements on canvas for the kinds of uh, basically there's a, all the different variations of notes should be included and a, there's a, a couple of different types of rests I'd like to see and also you'll want to put in dynamics a couple of dynamics piano and forte at some point in your piece and you, you, those are located over here, by the way. You can select, if you go to lines, because you do need to put a, a crescendo, decrescendo, and at some point in your project. So you basically, in order to input something, you want to select, well, also, okay, so you want to get off of this note input, and then select the note that you want to put a dynamic mark underneath and then just come over here and click either well use the if you use the hairpin looking crescendo you can do that or you can use the word but uh, I think that, that if you want put that in then you can adjust it by clicking on it and moving it back and forth for however long that you want the crescendo to be um, to remove things, you want to just highlight it and then click the delete button. You can do that with whenever with your notes as well. Whenever you do it, whenever you delete notes, it automatically replaces it with the rest. Um, so, uh, also let me show you how to do. So when you if, uh, let me just put in a couple. Um, oh, for for rest input, you also seem it seems like that works when you do it with the note input deselected but when you want to go back to select putting notes in you got to make sure that that is the note input is selected so and and like I was saying you can and also when you want to play back stuff that is up here you can uh, this this will always remind rewind to the start uh, but if you have a note selected in your um, in your project you'll play from that note as well but whenever you go to the, the top and then click the, the play button, it'll start playing. It'll play through your piece. I mean, nothing um, awesome there, really. I'm just trying to get through this. But uh, uh, you hit the, uh, to hit the, to stop also and start, 
hit click your space bar uh, to put in dynamic markings like I was show it's, it's, it's the same as doing the crescendo and the uh, how you entered the crescendo you want to make sure that the note input is deselected then you can come down here and select select a note so you can kind of play through your piece like this too you can also oh, oops close that um, let's see then select the note where you want to put your new uh, your new marking in come down to the dynamics over here and select like if I want it to go soft here I have pushed the hit the piano and it automatically puts it underneath the note that you selected so that gives you a brief overview of, of uh, Muse score and just play around with it there's some more advanced features over here that you can you're definitely welcome to play around with it if you're a little bit more um, musically advanced but the main thing I really want to see is is you can open up a project and you can enter in notes and dynamic markings okay thank you